Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you my new EST IO64 fire alarm panel. And I made an unboxing video for this panel a while back because I got it brand new in box, but I just never really got around to making a demonstration video for it, so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I'll show you the inside and then we'll set it off. So at first glance you may notice this, uh, this panel looks a little bit similar to the, the fireworks line of addressable panels. Um, it's basically kind of the same thing. Uh, the only difference is that this panel uses signature series detectors and the fireworks line uses um, ESL. And of course this is under the EST brand. Um, fireworks is produced by Interlogix, um, which is a, I'm not entirely sure whether it's proprietary or not. Um, it's slightly less proprietary than EST, let's put it that way. Um, but anyway, it's a pretty cool panel. Um, it's got a lot of like custom functionality for a panel this size because it only has uh, 64 points. And the IO500, I believe, is expandable to 256 points. So here's the front keypad. You can see we've got two customizable buttons with LEDs right there, which you can set up to do uh, sort of macro commands. Um, there's a feature called correlation groups, um, which I will probably make another video showing you at some point because it's a little bit too in-depth to just go over right now. I don't have any correlation groups set up on this system, but um, it's pretty cool. It's a way to uh, customize the functionality, the Boolean logic of this panel. So let's take the, the little dress panel off. <coughs> You can see there's one signature SLC. Like I said, this panel only has 64 points. Um, the IO500 is expandable up to uh, two SLC cards. And then over here, we've got our Form C relays. And we've got two notification appliance circuits. Where are they? Right there. I'm only using one. So let's put this back on. And what I'm going to be using here is an EST Genesis. Um, I've already shown this horn strobe a number of different times, but I used this because this panel actually can do Genesis sync and audible silence over two wires. And then I've just got an EST 278 signature pull station. So let's go ahead and pull it. So that silenced it and the strobe continues to flash. Let's reset the pull station. And as you can see, it's showing the uh, <clears throat> device that was activated. Um, there's a drill button, which you can customize the functionality of that. By default, it just activates the NACs. Um, I'm not sure if it activates the relays, but you can just press that and send it back into alarm. Actually, I guess that won't work when it's in alarm, so I'll reset it, then I'll show you the drill functionality. So the panel's now resetting. Okay, the panel's reset. So on the front keypad, we've got these two buttons here, um, which like almost everything else on the panel, you can customize their functionality. Um, we've got drill and remote disconnect. So you can press this, enter in the uh, level, I think level one password, which I'm just using the default. and that acts as a city disconnect. And then if you wanted to do a fire drill, you just hold the drill button.
and then we can just deactivate it by pressing the buttons again. And as you can see, for some reason, the Genesis Sync takes a little while to kick in. I'm not sure why that is. But anyway, um, that's just a pretty quick demonstration of the IO64. Um, at some point, I'll probably make a, another video showing you some more of the functionality, as well as maybe even plugging it into a PC and showing you the uh, programming suite. But anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.